Hello, this is Jay from Data Here to There, and today I'll be showing you a quick tip about our Turn 14 app for Shopify. And so this app can load in Turn 14 products into your store and keep them synchronized. Now, what happens if you accidentally uninstall it? Or what if you want to attach uh, products that you've already loaded in uh, before installing the app? If you've answered yes to either of those questions, this video is for you. So here we are in a test store and we're looking at the product details for one of the parts that has been loaded. And now maybe I loaded this uh, a year ago and it's got some great SEO on it. Um, maybe I've loaded it before with the Turn 14 app and uninstalled. Um, for some reason the product is here, but when we scroll down to the um, inventory section, it says inventory is managed by Shopify. And so what this means is that uh, it's going to be managed by one of the locations you have, but is not connected to the Term 14 API. So with the app installed, you'll see there's another option called Term 14 Distribution API. And what this does is it keeps the stock live. So whenever it updates, which is every hour, it'll check, you know, go to the Term 14 API and make sure that you've got the latest values. Now, that's great if we're going to edit a single product, <laughs> but what if we want to edit a whole bunch? So maybe you've got, you know, a few hundred or you know, a thousand products in there that you want to attach to the Turn 14 uh, app for Shopify. Well, what we can do, uh, we can go over to the inventory section and you'll notice that you can see the products by location. So we've got some here that are on the Turn 14 distribution API location. And some, I've got a custom location here, that aren't. And so let's imagine these are the ones that we want to attach uh, to the app. So I can select them all and then uh, click Edit Variants. And that goes to another screen here that allows me to do some bulk editing. But first of all, we need to add a field called the Fulfillment Service. And this is what's going to give us the Turn 14 uh, distribution API option. So I can click one at a time, or I can click all of them. And you can imagine how useful that would be if you got a, a whole bunch to change. And then we can just switch to Turn 14 distribution API just like that. And so when I'm done, I'll just uh, press the Save button. And now all of those products are being attached to the Term 14 distribution API location, meaning it will keep them synchronized. Um, you know, any other changes that, that happen, uh, you can have you know titles and descriptions synchronized and uh, shipping dimensions as long as um, uh, you also have um, those those options set in the content tab. And so. That shows you uh, just a quick way, either by individual product or by a batch, how you can attach products to the Term 14 uh, distribution API location. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, give us a, uh, uh, a shout here at uh, Data Here to There. So support at datahere to there.com uh, or you can get in contact with me, Jay, and I'll be happy to help you.